Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your contacts with the use of lists. Contact lists are used when sending out a regular email campaign like a newsletter. Everyone in that list will receive the same email and regular campaigns can only be sent to a list, so it's important to know how to create them. There are two ways to create contact lists and there's no size limit. The first way is on the contacts page while using existing contacts. To do that, we hover over marketing on the blue bar at the top and select contacts from the drop down. This is where all of your contacts are stored that have come from downloaded orders or contacts you've imported. Use the filters on the left side to find the customers you want to add to this particular list. One filter I want to point out specifically is the status filter. Since Shipping Easy tracks your orders, the status filter can tell you where a customer is in their life cycle with you and are automatically added to one of these statuses. Prospects are contacts which have been added to your main contact list but have never purchased something from you before. Some stores like Shopify support an abandoned cart automated email campaign. This captures customers who do not finish checking out. Recent customers are those that have made a purchase within the last 120 days. Repeat customers have made two or more purchases within the last 120 days. And finally, Inactive customers are customers that have previously made a purchase but have not purchased anything within the last 120 days. These customers are the best candidates for win-back campaigns. Let me show you a good example of how to make contact lists using filters. Let's say I have a surplus of a product and I want to clear some inventory out. So I want to do an email campaign that offers free shipping, but I only want to ship to people close to me to minimize the cost of shipping. So I'll set up my filter to show only recent, repeat, and inactive customers that I'm able to market to in the state of Texas. So I'll check the Select All box. There's more than fit on this page, so I'll click where it says Select All 285 Contacts. Then I click Add Remove from Lists and select Create New List. Since this is a new list, I'll create a new one, but you can add contacts to an existing list at any time. Give it a name and a short description about this list. Hit create list and I'm done. Now when I have my campaign created and ready to go, I can choose this list. In the future, I can add or remove customers to this list if I want. One thing to note is if you're in the middle of creating a campaign but have not created a list, you'll have the ability to create a contact list in the workflow of making the campaign before sending. You have the flexibility to make a list before or during campaign creation. Another way to make a list is when you're copy pasting new email addresses to add them to your contacts. Just click the additional information section here and you can add tags, add them to existing lists or create a new list down here. There you have it. Two very simple ways to create lists. Shipping Easy also makes it incredibly easy to edit and manage your lists. At the top of the page, you can click the lists filter to see all the lists you've created. I'm going to select this list. Here I can view each contact present in my list. Up top, I have some additional options. I can remove one or multiple contacts from a list, add tags, which we'll discuss next, or I can export this list to a CSV. I can also search for a particular contact. There you have it, everything you need to know about contact lists. For more information, click Help Center in the bottom right and search for Contact List. Click this second article here. This little square opens it in a new tab. And there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone.